to the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not. What's up, guys? Young Super Gamer here, and in this video, I have gameplay of this brand new hero. It looks amazing. We have not had a hero like this before, a flying hero with someone riding it. So it's basically just a dragon with somebody riding on top of it. See, you can see it right here on the base. I can't zoom in anymore, but let me go ahead and get a picture right here. So here the hero is, level 200. And uh, I can't read this, but I do have it out on my phone. So I will go ahead and read you guys um, what its skill is. And my phone there is evolved. And it really just looks like a guy riding Maltanica once it's evolved. And it really looks awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, find the information and read you guys what his skill actually does. So at 8 of 10, he surrounds enemy units within 5 seconds, total damage 540%, and reduced therapeutic effect of enemy units by 55%. Hero also causes 330% damage to enemy hero with the lowest life value with a cooldown of 7 seconds, and he comes with an 8 of 8 deadly strike. So um, instead of the 540%, at 3 of 10, it's 240%, and then it does the extra 30%, as you can see. So... This one is 3 of 10 and he comes with a 4 of 5 revitalize. And before I go any further with the video, I want to say a huge shout out to Legit Kid CC. He let me use this account for the gameplay. The link to his video will be in the description as well as just a link to his channel. And he uploads great content. You guys should definitely check him out. So um, I know this isn't that high level gameplay, but I definitely want to wait till I get a lot high lo higher level gameplay to do a lot more in-depth gameplay and review and stuff. So if any of you guys got a high level one of these, please contact me online chat or email. Both of those will be in the description. Or you can, uh, once it comes out on Android, the real English Android server, you guys, if you roll him, please let me know and let me get some high level gameplay up. So let's go and go right into dungeons and let's go and see what he can do in dungeons and see what he looks like in dungeons. So there's his little like uh, avatar logo type deal in the bottom left. Let's go and drop him. He pretty much just drops in. Let's go and see what his skill does on the base. Okay, that looks that looks pretty sick right there. We haven't seen that look before, so it's not just like a reuse of a skin from another hero skill. It's like his own like skill. So definitely something awesome. You can see him. He's just doing all around damage, and it's ticking down, sort of like a golem. The fact like the damage wise, it's sort of like a golem, but we're not really seeing any buffed up here, so we can't really see him remove buffs in this game mode. And I think he's healing himself too whenever he procs. I'll get a better, I'll pay more attention right here when he procs. Okay, no, he's not healing himself at all, but he's definitely doing quite a bit of damage. Let's go and see when he gets over this army camp. He's definitely taking out this troops before he even gets there. And there he goes, just procking, wiping out this dungeon easily. I think he's going to be a great hero monster here. He's going to be sort of like another Vlad, so... Um, and removing buffs. He's sort of like a Vlad Dracula, but removes buffs, and he's got the skin of like a person riding a, a dragon. I, I think he definitely looks really awesome. Let's go and get one more dungeon in on of him. Let's go and find, uh, let's go and see if we can get gameplay of another game mode. But again, this is a low might account, so we're definitely limited on the gameplay we can do. Look at him taking out that angel before he even gets there. He's definitely going to be a great hero. My first impressions on Grim Fiend was that he's not that good. But he turned out to be really good. But my first impressions on this guy is he's definitely going to be a good hero. He's definitely going to be a damage dealer and a good debuffer. He's definitely going to be a great hero to have. Especially if you're struggling here with monsters. He can, he's a substitute for Vlad Dracula. He's just another one of those great AoE heroes for Hero Monster. There he goes taking out this base easy, just soloing it. Um, I don't know if he's actually going to be good for dungeons once you get to higher up. Or if he's going to be like Vlad as well, where he just takes away from Pumpkin Duke's procs. So, um, that's pretty much it for dungeons. Let's go and see if there's anything else we can do. Can we do here monsters? No. I don't think there's anything else we can do except like raid. I think we can do arena. Yeah, let's go and edit teams. Might as well just... Actually, let's just go... I, I want to see just him in arena. So, let's go ahead and just put him out. Okay, start... And he's going head-to-head -head with this uh, Executioner. Of course, the Executioner is level 1, so it's going to lose. But let's just go and see, compare it, what he does to it. There he goes. Kills him pretty much instantly. Now he's going to go to the altar and take out the altar. So, 
Um, I, I don't think he's going to be an arena hero. He's got that 8 of 8 deadly strike, but other than that, I really don't... He's kind of slow. He's He doesn't really have the debuffs that you need for to be good in arena, and I, I just don't really see him as an arena hero. Definitely more as like a hero monster hero. Um, definitely not a guild war hero, because he'll mess up your attacks, you know, getting you over 50%. But yeah, definitely a hero monster hero. Probably a hero trial hero. Raiding, maybe hero, just a raiding hero. Um, don't really see where else he'd be good. Maybe head-to-head, uh, -head, like Lost Battlefield. He'd probably be really good in Lost Battlefield. Maybe Fortress Feud. So yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be able to get a better idea of where he should be used once I get him to a higher level, once I get higher level gameplay, which is what I'm dependent on you guys to do. If you guys can just uh, try your best to roll this guy when it comes out to English server, let me know if you roll him. So there we go. I think that's good enough uh, for arena gameplay. Is there any other gameplay that we can get. I guess now let's go and get him in uh, rating. Let's go and put him up against other heroes. No heroes there. All right, so we got a Dread Drake, level one Dread Drake versus level forty. Um, I've not mentioned this hero's name. Let me go and uh, get that real quick while he's finishing off this raid. All right, so the hero's name on this server, but the the names are always different on different servers. But the hero name on this server is Doom X, and I will change the name of the video title as soon as I do find out his actual name. That it's going to be on English server, but right here it says Doom X, so that's the name of him on this server. Let's go ahead and get him in one more raid against another hero. He took out that level one Dread Drake just too easy. Let me see if I can find any higher level heroes. So probably gonna be hard at this level of might but just looking for like level 10 hero level 20 I feel like they're just giving me the same base over and over again okay so here we got two heroes they're both still level one but that four or five revitalize is definitely coming in handy I think revitalize will be one of his strong talents or it's gonna be like Vlad where war god is definitely gonna be a really strong talent for him but Vlad does Vlad heals himself so that's why life train isn't good for him but this hero doesn't heal himself, so maybe you guys are going to want Life Drain on him. I'm definitely thinking either Revite, Life Drain, or War God. That's what I'm thinking for him, because I don't really know how his health is yet, so I don't know if Bulwark's going to be the better choice for him, but definitely one of those talents. War God, Bulwark, Life Drain, or Revitalize. Don't see Berserk being useful on him. Um, none of the, like, um... Deadly Strike won't be good on him because he already has Deadly Strike and other talents that are just trash like Slow Down and Heavy Blow, Tenacity, all those, they're not going to be useful on him, but um, I definitely think that the Bulwark, War God, uh, Life Drain, or Revitalize, those are going to be like the top four for me. Maybe Revitalize, but you know you don't really see people re with Revitalize Vlad's or Revitalize Ghoulam, so I don't really know how Revitalize uh, Doomax will do. Definitely don't like that name. I'm glad we didn't get that name on our server because Doomax just definitely doesn't seem like a serious name. It doesn't seem like a good name. So I'm definitely excited to see what the name will be on our server. Should be getting the sneak peek soon, seeing as how Taiwan is already released. So it's going to get one more dungeon to end this video. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have not done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm just finishing up this last raid. Definitely can't wait to see him proc on that angel and all those troops. Just see him wipe them out easily. Oh, uh, he needs to move in with that proc active. There we go. Killed the two guys. Got the health really low on him. One more proc and that angel's dead. There we go. He's definitely going to be a great hero. I'm definitely excited. He definitely looks sick. Our first, you know, hero that flies and has someone like ride him on it. So it's. Not a two in one hero like Beast Hammer, but it is a hero like Lady Leo where there's a hero like riding him. I'm, I'm assuming it's a male dragon and a male like rider or whatever. Just because you know, that's what it looks like. With that dark blue dragon and the guy with the battle axe. So anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. One more time, go and hit that like button. And if you have not done so, go and hit that subscribe button.